Ladies and gentlemen, you can now download files via the Chrome browser on iOS. Courtesy of a new jailbreak tweak called Chrome Download Enabler. Let's go to the uh, download page for Chrome. All you do is you type in HTTP colon slash slash and download. And that'll take you to the download area that this new jailbreak tweak enables. So there, there's where you go to find your downloads, your previous downloads, etc. Let's actually download something now. So I'm going to head over to I download blog. I'm going to load up the page here. And then we're going to head over to our downloads section. So let me just pinch to zoom in a little bit here. This iPod touch is a little on the slow side. There's our download link and our download page. Now we just need to find a file to download. I think I'll choose one of the jailbreak tools. Let's see, how about Absinthe? That's a good one. Let's zoom in and tap the uh, Mac version of Absinthe 2.0.4. And this should allow us, hopefully, to download Absinthe. So there's the attachment page. So let's go ahead and click here and see what happens. There it goes. So you can see the downloads page, it's the progress. Uh, it is in progress, rather. It's downloading. You can see the little blue bar at the top continuously churning there, indicating the download in progress. And of course, the word downloading is there as well on the page, so you know it's working. And then you see a link to the actual download. I guess once that completes, that will open an iFile. So you will need iFile in order to open this, just like Safari Download Manager, you needed iFile. So there we go. It's OK. Let's tap it. And it opens iFile just like that. So, of course, you're not going to be able to open up a, a DMG file. It's not going to be able to mount that file. But you see the point. You see how you can download any type of file, a zip file, a, a deb file, whatever type of file you want to download. You can do it now courtesy of Chrome Download Enabler. Now, the only thing about this tweak is it's two bucks. So it is a little on the pricey side. It's not the most visually appealing tweak uh, for that matter anyway. And there's no way that I could find to actually remove previous downloads. So it's not Safari Download Manager by any stretch of the imagination, but it does get the job done. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.